Hello, potato. It's time for a tea break, but this time there's no tins or tea bags or boiling water involved. This time we're going to try it in mochi form with Tropical Fields Brown Sugar Boba Milk Tea Mochi. Now, if you've watched the channel for a while, you might think, wait a second, you've done this already. Because, yeah, these came from Costco. And, yes, I have done a little boba mochi thing before, but that wasn't this. That was the one that Costco used to carry, which are these. And the, uh, oops, up there. Boba milk tea mochi. These look at these are gonna be a little bit different. Um, those ones were like a white mochi outside. These, they have a brown mochi outside. Same boba center, but I think the cream kind of around the center is more tea flavored. Here looks like we're gonna get more tea flavoring from the mochi itself. And yeah, I was a little disappointed to see they stopped carrying these. We still have a few left from the last time we bought some. But we're gonna, gonna put them next to each other and see what they're like together, as well as what this is like alone. So this says it has 60 individual packs with a boba pearl center. Any words on the back? There are words on the back. Let's read the words on the back before I open it. Like a cloud, they're soft and chewy. In the middle, they're oh so gooey. Its center has a brown sugar flavor with a boba pearl inside to savor. Well, those are words. Uh, maltose, glutinous rice, water, sugar, yeah, I'm not gonna read all that. Uh, 53 calories per boba, mochi thing, and 0% of your daily sodium, so that's a nice change from what I usually try on here. So it looks like for the bag here, they're gonna be packaged very similarly to this. I can still get these, and in fact, this might actually be not from Costco. Um, some of our local international markets carry this. I actually had bought some of these for a video and didn't realize it until uh, I finally saw them like next to the Costco ones. I saw they were the same thing, just the Costco one had English writing and the one from the international market had it in Japanese. So yeah, here are our bobas. Let's, uh, let's open them up and take a look at them. So here is our new one. Our brown sugar boba mochi tea. Brown sugar boba milk tea mochi. That's the proper name. There we go. It's a little, it's a little, a uh, little, little like a slime. It's uh, not the best shape in the world, but feels nice and soft. Smells strongly of brown sugar boba, like the, uh, the boba bam stuff we put in our homemade teas. And here is. This one's a little, little less cloudy because I think it's um, we've had it for at least a few months. We don't eat them all that fast, so it's not as soft and fresh as that one. Also, doesn't smell as strongly of the brown sugar, so that should be interesting. Let's want to kind of because the reason I wanted to like compare them because normally I don't always compare things in videos is because I did still have some of these again, not from that first batch from the original video, newer ones. But it just, these looked so radically different. I wanted to take a look at them side by side. And there's that. And there is our older one that I can't read the brand name of because it's in Japanese. It is in Japanese. Oh, that's the new one. Yeah, I, I can't I can't read any of that aside from boba milk and tea mochi. So yeah, um, I feel like this is, at least to my mind, a little bit more traditional looking. It's the white mochi on the outside, as where this is the brown mochi on the outside. But otherwise, they should be fairly strong. This, this does smell much more strongly of brown sugar, of brown sugar mochi, or not mochi, boba. This, I smell more of just like the plain mochi on this one. So. I'm thinking this is going to be a lot more flavorful. Maybe that's why they switched. Maybe these are going to be even better because those were really good. This might be even better. Let's give it a try. Well, you know how the back said the center was gooey. That was not a lie. The center is incredibly gooey. Almost kind of a melt in your mouth. Very strong brown sugar flavor. Quite nice. Very nice. Now, just just to remind myself, let's try the older, older version as well, which, uh, Again, it's a little older, it's a little, little firmer. They're probably getting near their best by date. So, okay, putting aside texture, because I feel like this being older, that's not fair to compare 
flavor though. Um, this is a lot more flavorful than that. That you can, it, it tastes more like normal, just kind of mochi, just like plain mochi on the outside of something. This tastes like just entirely of the brown sugar boba flavor. So if you like that flavor, this is definitely going to get. So this, um, as much as I was initially maybe a little disappointed to see them discontinue this at Costco, this I think may actually be an improvement. This is this is a much more flavorful experience. Yeah, very pillowy, very very gooey. The 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 syrup around it, like the what of that white stuff there is, just kind of spreads around your mouth, and it is just just absolutely packed with flavor well more than this is. So yeah, this, this is this is a replacement that is a plus. Not all replacements call you know, I think Costco's kind of like, like Kelly Bundy's memory, you know, something new comes in, something old has to go out. And that's not always an improvement. This time I think we definitely have an improvement over the uh, previous incarnation. So I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. I definitely do recommend checking out the Tropical Fields Brown Sugar Boba Milk Tea Mochi. I don't know how much it costs, but you get 60 of them. So I'm, I'm sure it was a value. Otherwise we probably wouldn't have bought it, right? Right. So again, I hope you found it interesting and entertaining. If you did, go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. And I'm gonna go finish my tea break and I'll see you in the next video.